WFNN Headline News Update. Hello everyone, Bowser Jabin for this Tiger Financial News Network uh, Tuesday the 12th update. And we're looking at uh, the Dow up 93 at 31,267. You might show the Tiger Traditions Hour a few moments ago. I was mentioning that yesterday and today, just briefly, uh, the nine period moving average flipped over the 14 to go green, but it couldn't hold that. And all of a sudden it's gone back to green. <clears throat> We'll see if that's going to hold because that's really important. You want to see it turn green. It hasn't been green since about June the 6th. So that will be important in terms of looking at the chance of making a new leg C above the little doji candle high that was made on the, uh, what was that? That was on the 8th at 31,000. Uh, was that the one that went to 5? Yeah, 31,511. Ah, we still got a long way to go. It's at 30, 31,253 right now. The S&P, and this is going to be also important because the S&P today is very close to flipping to green. It hasn't, but it's trading down 271 at 38.51. It had a high of 38.73. Wait a minute. It had a low of 38.37. So it's way off the low, but it's also off the high. So this is going to be important. Tiny little doji candle. And you want to see some kind of a close by the end of the day. Preferably up about eight or more points uh, in the S&P, the QQQ. Now, this is going to be interesting because the QQQs have come back nicely from being much weaker earlier on, down just 25 and 25 cents at 288.80. Not a great candle, but it has been. The line has been positive for the last four days. You want to see the high of today, 292.28, taken out. Preferably on a closing basis. IWM, it's the laggard, but it is holding okay. It's down, it's up 37 cents at 172. Gold was weaker earlier. It's still weak. It's down for 17.27. I did quite a bit of work on that uh, in my show. So that it really needs to, if a lot depends on the dollar at this particular point, yes. But gold is also in its own independent move because it's a geopolitical uh, a currency of, 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 uh, um, uh, nervousness. So at this particular point, it's still in play, but going down slowly. 108.07 in the in the dollar, down 11 ticks in leg E. This is where you start to see the chance of some kind of a at least a short term pullback. Watch the dollar closely. And crude oil, crude oil is down. Oh, it's even more. It's down almost eight points at 96. And the TLT is up sharply. This should all be positives for the market. Dollar um, the yields are coming down. Uh, crude oil's down. We'll see what happens. Stay tuned for Larry Presenter, a great program. Don't forget, Tommy Jr. starts us off at 9 a.m. with Market Kickoff. Great programming here at TFNN. I'll see you later with Tom O'Brien.